For this video, I'm going to talk about how to describe a number pattern. Sometimes they're called number sequence. Uh, the terms are kind of interchangeable. I'm going to talk about how to describe it using words and how to describe it using tables. First, we're going to talk about using tables to describe a number pattern. And there are two different types of tables that you've probably heard about. One that has term and value and one that has input output as their titles. They're exactly the same. <clears throat> But sometimes questions will ask you to represent it in an input-output chart and some uh, a term and value. Uh, the term or the input, it's just talking about which the, the number in the sequence. So is it term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5? Is it term 712? And the value just tells you the va number value of that term. So the value of the fourth term is 8. And the same thing here. The output of the... Uh, the, the the, uh, the fourth input is 8. And now describing a number pattern with words. <clears throat> so here's our number pattern. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and it continues on. When you're using words to describe a number pattern, the key is that someone else should be able to take your words and create your pattern. <clears throat> Okay, so the first thing is you need to tell them where to start. So this number pattern, it starts at 2. Some number patterns are going to start at 36 or 100, or, but you need to identify where the person should start the pattern. So, the, so the, the first step is start at 2. The next step is to tell how do you get from term 1 to term 2. And we know that we add 2. So the second step is add 2 to get to the next number. So that's how we get, we start at the first number, start at 2, and how do we get to the next number? And for this number pattern, it's pretty simple. We add 2 every time. So the third step is to just continue. So start at 2, add 2 to get to the next number, and then continue. Plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. And you should actually identify with a little arrow, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2 on your number pattern. You're, the step, you should always have three steps when explaining a, a number pattern in words. One, two, and three. I'm going to give you another an example where the step three is not a continue. Where there might be, um, uh, where, not, might you, where the second step isn't just to add or do the same thing over and over again. So your third step would be different. So let's talk about this pattern. One, one, two, four, seven, eleven, sixteen, twenty-two. If we do our little arrow, as we know, we went up by 0, went up by 1, we went up by 2, up by 3, 4, 5, 6, so you can understand the pattern. So using words, our first step is to identify where we start. So start at 1. Second is to say how we get from the first term to the second term. And we know we add 0. Add 0 to get to the next term. But we know that it increases by 1 each time, right? We add 0, then we add 1, then we add 2, then we add 3, add 4, add 5, add 6. So we have to identify that in our third step. Increase the number you add by 1 each time. So I added 0 the first time. I'm going to add, increase that by 1, so I add 1. I'm going to increase that by 1 again. I add 2, I add 3. I put this in capital letters here to focus the, you know, this is the most important detail. And I want the person who's reading my description to really focus on adding by one. So I put it in, in capitals just so they know uh, the most important detail. So that's how to describe uh, number patterns or sequences using words or tables.